is what happens if you lose. The device you're wearing is hooked into your upper and lower jaws. When the timer in the back goes off, your mouth will be permanently ripped open. Think of it like a reverse snare trap. There is only one key to open the device. It's in the stomach of your dead soulmate. Live or die. Make your choice. Castlevania series. Fear it, for it is many. A recurring boss in the Castlevania series, Legion first appeared in Symphony of the Night in the Catacombs of Dracula's Castle. From its first appearance in the Catacombs of Dracula's Castle, Legion distinguishes itself from the other foes in the player's path. First and foremost, it appears to be a sphere constructed from multiple layers of human bodies, disturbing in scope and in imagery. Legion also stands as a notable physical challenge. It can drop bodies from its surface as zombies, shower the surrounding chamber in corpses, and fire difficult to evade beams. Legion is at once threatening and deeply unsettling. Number seven, The Keeper, The Evil Within. Probably best to just keep clear of this fellow. In the seventh chapter of 2014's The Evil Within, players are brought face to face with the Keeper, a box-headed being with a knack for lethal injury. Designed to symbolize past crimes kept hidden, the Keeper walks a fine line between being distinctive in appearance and dangerous in action. It wields both a large meat tenderizing hammer and a spike-filled sack, being all too willing to chase you down wherever it shows up. Add to that its use of debilitating barbed wire mines, and the result is a truly imposing boss. Number six, Tentacles, Half-Life. Aggressive from the outset, the tentacles are not easily trifled with. As theoretical physicist Gordon Freeman makes his way through the devastated Black Mesa facility, it becomes necessary for him to cross through a rocket propulsion silo. Hey. Hey. <laughs> there, he's faced with the extraterrestrial horror of a trio of tentacles, rooted by some means to the silo itself. Besides their ghoulish visual design, what makes the tentacles scary is that they can't see, but they can hear you very well, forcing you to stay quiet and use grenades as a distraction. Fortunately, it's said that the rocket engines themselves are quite handy as a means of disinfectant. Number 5. The Soro. Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. The spirit of the warrior will always be with you, and that's terrifying. I am the Soro. Like you, I too. Towards the end of Metal Gear Solid 3, CIA operative Naked Snake experiences a near-death experience by way of falling into a river, bringing him before the sorrow. Now you will know the sorrow of those whose lives you have ended. The ghost of an elite soldier, the sorrow had a unique gift in life, being able to summon and embody the souls of the dead. In death, he brings forth any soldiers felt by Snake, while also firing mental bursts and forcing Snake to trudge through a purgatory-like realm. However, the real shock comes when the sorrow triggers a fake game over screen. Man, that scream that Snake lets out is pretty chilling. <laughs> Coupled with its blood spattered attire and relentless desire to chop you to bits, the Butcher is a true terror to behold and not for the faint of heart. The spirits of the dead are now avenged. Number three. Nemesis. Resident Evil 3, Nemesis. Run though they may, Nemesis will find them. Designed by the Umbrella Corporation and named after the Greek goddess of vengeance, the Nemesis, short for Nemesis T-Type, is quite unorthodox. Stars. 
Unlike other tyrant creatures in the Resident Evil series, Nemesis possesses sufficient intelligence to follow precise orders, and has a habit of showing up at unexpected times. Stars. Its reliance on surprise attacks aside, the Nemesis leaves gamers unsettled through its ghastly appearance, its relentless pursuit of its targets, and its unparalleled regenerative capabilities. Number 2. Gygas, Earthbound. Embodying the power of evil itself, the alien Gygus is encountered in the climax of Earthbound, confronted by the kid hero Ness and company. The heroes are taken to a dimension of pure darkness, and glance upon the swirling horror that is the formless Gygus. <laughs> Said to have been inspired by a scene from the 1957 Japanese film The Military Policeman and the Dismembered Beauty, Gygus's vaguely twisted form fits with the unknowable nature of himself. Thus, the terror at play here is based on how little we understand about Gygus, and how uncomfortable that makes the audience. Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. 